Hi guys, uh, many years ago when I was uh, starting using Unreal Engine, I was starting learning blueprints and I was starting learning programming itself, I made a riddle. Something like that. So I had this idea that you have different shapes and you have to connect the main shape at, at the top, like this one, to the shape that it uh, fit, fit the main one and then you need to go to another ring of this riddle and connect it like this and somewhere there it didn't work and and I saw so I abandoned this project unfortunately at this point and I'm I'm gonna show you why I did this so let's just open this yeah it looks like this well that was the point i didn't understand and know the concept of function in blueprint so i put everything into one blueprint which is not the ideal way to program your stuff because you open your project after some years and you see this but that's not it let me show you construction script so it starts here, there's some play, set play rate to the timelines there, that's okay, some, a lot of random stuff, I could probably put it in the array now, I just made an array with um, random, um, random numbers. Here is some, yeah, there are random numbers, but if they are not, yeah, they are random numbers, but they, I'm not sure what I was trying to resolve this, but yeah, if they are all, yeah, none of, some of it has to be bigger than one, I guess, because if they, all of them are equal to zero, they need to, do it once again this is not the best way to do it because in theory it could go infinitely i mean if on the first time every random integer will be zero so the sum of it will be zero then it has has to do again and maybe second time it will happen the same so it has to do again i mean it won't because of the probability law, but um, it, that's not the ideal way uh, to do it. I shouldn't ma made a loop like it because if I had, um, yeah, because in, in theory this could go infinitely or maybe a lot of times, so it will uh, it will um, you know stop the the construction script for a moment because this loop could could go many many times okay what i have here uh add static mesh component some regular stuff and again i have some randomness i'm shuffling something but i again i am doing it if something is wrong Oh, that's strange. But this is the best part. So I'm not even checking what I'm doing here. But I'm going to show you that I did it. Jesus Christ. For three, six, uh, nine, uh, twelve times. So I definitely could put, I could put it in the in and for loop definitely instead of just copying it jesus christ this is this is so embarrassing <laughs> to watch <laughs> but yeah but just don't don't do it but i still have every time i have some loops because start sign oh i'm randomizing start sign yes but if it's that's not a good way to program it. But anyway, for example, I'm, I'm going to show you a small example. It was connected like this. 
I start to um, optimizing it, so I put it put it into a function, but I did it just now, so years after I made an original blueprint. But this part, when I press W, so when I go between uh, rings, like the top one, middle one, inner one, middle one, outer one, I'm pressing W and S button. So here's W, here's S button. So the W button look exactly the same like S button, but I put it already in the function. So what I did here, I check if the ring is equal zero, if it is, um, I'm getting uh, array with meshes, outer meshes, and I set it up to one point, a miss if uh, one point five, but then the, mm, but if it's not, I'm setting up the uh, outer meshes to zero, and. If, but at the same time, I'm doing uh, probably because if I'm on the top uh, outer uh, ring, I'm setting up the middle ring and the inner ring to zero. And then when I'm moving from outer ring to middle ring, I'm setting up the uh, outer ring to zero, but again, the inner ring to zero, which is unnecessary. But if I have three rings, that's okay. But if I have 10 of them and I would run every time I change position to set up every other ring to zero, that would be unnecessary. And this is also bad programming. Uh, but um, so the best way would be to check the previous uh, ring if it's... Um, the, the, check the previous ring and only disable the emissive on the previous ring instead of uh, disable emissive on all the rings. I had only three rings, so that was kind of okay, but again, this is still bad programming. And also, I have no idea why I didn't just use for each loop, but I use just for loop, and I had to manually put the numbers, but I could just use like I did here, for each loop. So that's the first thing. Um, so using for each loop and instead of instead of this doing this, look how how much less node that is, and I don't have to put manually uh, numbers. So, but I guess I didn't know what for each loop is then. And again, what I did here is I, so this value, emissive value, when this is true, has to be 1.5 and this has to be zero. So instead of making a branch, I made a select node, select float. And if this is true is 1.5 and if it's false, it's zero. So again, I don't need branch. I just need select float so I can disable this. I mean, delete this and delete this and have this. And since I am, I am doing it uh, three times, I mean six times, but now I only need to do it three times. And all the things that is that are changing here is the meshes, array of meshes, here is middle and here is inner and here is outer and I'm changing if it's equal index, ring index is equal to 0, 1 or 2, I just put it into nice uh, function. Parameter name is emissive in this case, so I guess I don't need to because it's emissive everywhere. So yeah, actually I don't need to do it at all. So I can even and just delete this because it's always emissive. I'm setting up emissive here, set emissive param. That's the name of it. Yeah, I need to fix this. Mm. Just we 
reset to default value yeah so all i all i need is this because i'm changing the um, array of meshes and i'm changing index so instead of all this i can just copy this because this is exactly the same, the ring is in first case is zero and uh, meshes outer, here is one, meshes middle and here is two, meshes inner. So I can just use this outer, middle, inner, zero, one, two. And just delete this. Like totally. And put it here. How much, look how cleaner it is again um yeah so so here yeah i'm i'm setting up the ring to um i'm just adding value of zero to one to two but when it's only when it's less than two so it cannot cross the two i could probably instead of branch use uh, clamp but I think that's that's kind of the same. But yeah, what do we have here? Again, I could probably use functions. No, I cannot use functions because I cannot put timelines in functions. But I, maybe I can use macros for it and just yeah change the this number random and. Everything else is the same. Yeah, I don't need at all to have this timelines like this. Jesus Christ, what I did here. Oh my God. But it looks nice. You have to admit that it looks really, really eye pleasing. Let me put it this way. Yeah, but this project is, fuck, I hate it because every time I need to update my windows, my sound is gone and I need to roll back the new updates. I hate Microsoft. No, I don't. I just, I'm just saying it. Um, okay, guys, I'm not going to bore you with what I'm going to do next here. Maybe if I, because that would that could take hours to just figure out what I did here. Jesus Christ, why, why? Oh my God, there's like 100% chance I, that that could be done more efficiently. But you know, everyone started somewhere. So yeah, I started with this. Now I'm getting paid for making programming with blueprints without writing a C++ code so yeah everything's uh, everything's uh, possible yeah and on, on that note thank you guys for for watching I will try to do more um, tutorials uh, maybe more free stuff uh, that I'm putting on my for my patreons uh, but yeah for now that's it thanks guys for watching and see you next time